Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. You wanted a video on the Kayan Audio Apple CarPlay for FG Falcon. It also comes out in BA and BF and Territory. This is the FG model that I'm gonna show you, the version five. So a lot of the different models back in the day had a bad name due to poor service from Kayan, um, difficulty installing it. But now there are a number of different people who can install this head unit for you and turn your old Falcon into an updated machine, bring it into 2023 we are at the moment. This is what it looks like in my FG at the moment. And this is what the factory head unit looks like in the series one. So I've opted for the Mark II design. There is a larger screen you can go again, which comes out to about here. And this is what that looks like. I prefer this factory look. And Kahan has also supplied with the unit, the piano black top hat and fascia kit. So this here is the fascia kit and the top hat. So you can actually choose from Kayan which color you want. So there are many, many different features in this head unit. Firstly, just to point out, it is a touchscreen. This is what it looks like when you first power the unit on. To get back to the screen, you click the menu button on your standard system down here. I think you can also choose back. So on this first screen, you've got music, radio, video, navigation, settings, display, K-Play, which is Apple CarPlay, phone, then you've got Google Play Store, Google, and File Manager. So you can actually store music on this head unit. In my glove box compartment, there is three USB-C cables. I can put memory sticks in there and I can play the music through those memory sticks through here. So coming into music, I've actually got music stored in the hard drive. You can copy and paste stuff over there and you can play and check out all your music in the head unit that's saved on there. And I've just got some old songs from my old phone. You've also got, there you go, you've got the USB that I've got plugged in. I think you can do an SD card and you can have separate folders and favorite tracks. And then you've got the song playing. I'm not gonna play that because it's gonna mute it. So that's cool. So to go back to the menu, you just click menu. Then you've got your radio function. So that's what that looks like, nice and modern. If you, let me just see if it'll let me play a little bit. Oops. So there's your music. It will tell you, smooth FM. As for the wildlife. So it's just sinking through. Awesome. Oh, track. And then you've got your equalizer here as well. Heaps of different settings. You can scroll across and there's more. You can sit there and play with the exact sound that you want. Anyway, going back to radio. So I don't even know what all this stuff does. There's so many features. Settings. This, I have not even gone through the, all the different things on this. I mean, you can search. There you go. It's searching through the stations there. So one thing, if you ever want to touch your aircon controls, if I go up on the... Uh, if I just touch my aircon controls, then this display will come up, which tells you what settings the aircon's on, what degrees. So this is a dual zone. So you can change the, the different zones. So I'm just touching the left button there. You turn your AC off and on, your recirculation. It tells you what's what's um, selected there as you touch the things. And then you wait a couple of seconds and your head unit will go back to where it was before. You've also got a video function here, which it has inbuilt videos. You can actually have your own videos on there. It is illegal to play videos while you're driving and you will get a fine four points and 300 something dollars. It is the same fine as using your phone. Uh, there is a few little preset videos on there. You can make a full screen as well, which is pretty cool. So that's just like a default one. And the screen quality is really good. So going back. So I'm guessing within that, I haven't done it yet, but you can pull videos from a USB and you've got the access there. And you can actually have that in there in the corner playing or something if you want. But you don't want to do that while you're driving, dangerous. So it's also got inbuilt navigation, which I never use. That's what that looks like. Just like a normal navigation. I don't really see the point of using CarPlay though. Then you've got your microphone button, so you can pretty much, oh, there you go, search web. You can search the web for whatever you want on the head unit. Settings, so there's like heaps of different settings here. You can connect to a Wi-Fi network, so you can connect to the hotspot off your phone. Um, it'll tell you what network you're connected to here. Mobile data, it'll tell you data usage. Flight mode, you know, if you're taking your car on a plane, you want to put it into flight mode. USB <laughs> network sharing. Right, it's all just like standard stuff that a tablet would have. You got your display settings, so your brightness. Here you can choose wall, different wallpapers, which is pretty cool. 
set. You got your, your font size. There's a dark theme. So the back button's in the top left hand corner. Yeah, wallpapers, your sound settings. Um, I'm not even sure what all this stuff means, but intelligent priority, third party priority. You got different ringtones, you got your navigation, sound settings, background music. Here you got your general settings. So yeah, there's heaps of different stuff in here. It's almost like a tablet. Amplifier control, age permissions, location control, navigation settings, video suspension window. It'll tell you if your car battery level is low. Your phone battery level will display up here as well. So it tells you up right up in the top there, your car um, battery voltage, which is handy because if you sit in the car for ages and you're listening to music and you can see if it starts to go dead, you can tell it to show you the temperature. You know, you can change the air con control, um, how long it stays up for. If, you, if it's not going back fast enough, you can change it to two seconds, four seconds, six seconds. Door display, you know, it's got reversing radar and stuff for the camera. Steering wheel functions, so you can actually change what you want the steering wheel functions to do. So all these factory buttons still work as well, which is amazing. And then you got your reverse camera settings. So I can show you the reverse camera now. Put it into reverse. You see that oh, there's a bit of a glare on it, but I'm telling you the quality of this is amazing. It's actually 1080p, but yeah, it's just rained and there's a little bit of um, crap on my camera, but I'll show you a clearer version before it rained. There you can see the condensation coming out of my exhaust. So you can change the display of what shows up here. Do you want this colorful thing to show you like, or do you want it? To, yeah, there's all different kind of settings there. Voice, I mean, this is, this is yeah. You can turn off, turn on and turn off what apps use voice. Personal settings, you got like account, like it's all, yeah, it's pretty extensive. There's a lot of different settings. You can reset it to factory settings there. So yeah, there's heaps of different, say you've got a, a proper nice sound system in your car and you want to set it up and tune it, this is the place to be. You've got all your equalizers there, which is amazing. And then you've got some presets, jazz, pop, classical, just like a normal head stereo would, heavy metal or whatever. I'll just go to default. Then you've got surround sound settings as well. So you can just move this little ball to where you want the speakers to, and that works really well as well. There's all this fine tuning stuff you can do as well. Bass boost, so if you've got a subs and stuff, you can actually change the, um, the tuning here to focus, yep. So you can come in and tune your different Hertz. I don't know much about doing this kind of stuff. Barriscan who installed this for me, he was, he was tuning it up for me as well before he left. And you can change your gains and stuff. Then you've got a zone thing. So you've got sub gain, frequency, speed. Is that speed frequency? I don't know, it's cool. And then you've got bass filters. Like it's, it's really, really good. But one of the main reasons you're buying this head unit is for the CarPlay. So if you've got an Android phone, Samsung phone, whatever, it also does have Android Auto too, but this is wireless Apple CarPlay. So my phone at the moment, my phone at the moment is not plugged in. But if I open up my phone and I go to say Waze, I can put in a location and then go to the app and it will just show everyone where I live. So for those of you who haven't had CarPlay before, it's amazing. So it just, basically the benefit of CarPlay is it just makes your driving experience so much safer. You have the map displayed here when you're driving. You're not I, I, I would sometimes have it down in my center console there and I'm always glancing down at where I'm going or you've got this big ugly phone holder up here or here or you know it makes the dash look ugly when you have like stuff hanging off the dash but this integrates it and it's a lot bigger of a screen than your phone so you can just quickly glance at it while you're driving and that just makes the whole driving experience like so much safer. I used to have a phone mount, the phone would fall off the mount, or I'd always have to put it in and out and in and out, and you can wreck your vents. So this is the long-term solution. Not to mention it just makes the car feel like so much more modern. I have one of my friends, she's got a new, a newish Mercedes. It's like a 2018 model, and she hopped in this car. And she was like, oh, you got CarPlay in here, wow. The CarPlay is literally one of the reasons why people buy new cars, is for this. So you got all your phone call contacts in there. It shows like your recent calls. It's got all your all your contacts in the head unit. You've got a keypad if you want to call people. And you've got your voicemail that you can access as well. Going back, your music. So you can come in there and play all your music. You've got your playlist, your Apple radio. That's if you've got an Apple phone. you also got Apple Maps, which is amazing. That just basically navigates while you drive. can talk to you. You can turn it off and on. You can... You can, you can turn the sound off and on. It'll give you alerts of crash hazards, speed checks. So yeah, you've also got your messages. What will happen is it'll... it'll. Say to me, Kayla Ray, White Deer Park. 
nothing. So you can you can actually text people while you're driving, just say I want to send you know, this is my son Thomas, you can send him. Do you want to say to Thomas? Have a good day, buddy. It says, have a good day, buddy. Send it. Done. There you go. So I've just sent my son a message saying, have a good day, buddy. And yeah, you can um, keep it right. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, you can send people messages through there while you're driving, which is cool. You've got your now playing thing. So this is what I was listening to on YouTube. That'll just, yeah, you can skip it. The also, also, the, the controls. Like the morning routine is something that you do that will set you up The steering wheel controls will work as well. So there you go, volume up and down. See, your ass will go broke no matter how much money you make. You can change the, uh, skip the video here on the sake. Success to me is to find, you know, your wife did not marry you. Just to have another son. Which is really good. Most when it tells you what you're listening to there. Car. I. Oh, yep. So that takes you back to the uh, Tony Robbins says this. the so main head unit there. Hey, let's turn this guy off. Welcome to the bedrooms. Podcasts. I don't really use the podcast, but you can set it up on your phone and listen to podcasts. You got your calendar, so it'll tell you what you're doing. This is, this is for people who haven't used CarPlay before. I'm just showing you because you might be upgrading from something that doesn't have CarPlay. And we've got second page, you've got your phone, settings, driving focus modes, silences, alerts, so you can get it to a silence your alerts while you're using CarPlay. You can, this is where you set it all up. You can tell it to announce messages. So it'll tell you when someone's texted you and it'll read it to you while you're driving. You can change the appearance. You can have, there you go. You can have it like on a lighter setting or a dark setting. You got your different wallpapers for your Apple CarPlay there. Oh, I didn't even know this stuff existed. Yeah, that looks good, the blue. But one really cool thing that you can do also, which I forgot to mention is you can just, while you're driving, you can just say, hey Siri, how big are turtles? Here's an answer from Britannica.com. Turtles are all different sizes. The smallest turtles are less than four inches, 10 centimeters long, in contrast, Thank you. the Atlantic leatherback turtle can be more than seven yeah, feet so, two meters long. So you can tell it to message people. It just like normal Siri works in the car, which is amazing. Yeah, I've got you've know, got Google Maps as well. And as you zoom in, it'll show you like clearly what's on each road. And you can see the lagginess of it there. It's not as good as say my Mrs. Kia as in with the lagginess, but it still works. Like it's not annoyingly laggy. This stuff here, I don't really need to go into. One app that I never used to use, which people told me to use and I never tried it, is Waze. The one awesome thing about the Waze app is it shows you where there's road hazards. So let's just zoom in. So this will tell you where there's speed cameras, it'll tell you where there's traffic, it'll tell you where there's potholes, it'll tell you where there's police, cars stopped, and as you're driving, you can report different incidents. So you can report that there's police, you can report that there's a crash, you can report that there's traffic, a hazard, which is amazing. So yeah, that's the Apple CarPlay section. Going back to the map there, you got your phone. So you can connect to different phones. I've got two different phones. You can search through the, search for new phones. You can bin different phones. You've got like your Bluetooth settings there. I think once it's connected to the actual phone, you can then go in and see all the contacts and stuff. Very similar to CarPlay, but if you're not using CarPlay, there you go, pair success. So I can go in there and check out my phone stuff. It's not really showing up at the moment. Not sure why. I don't use that anyway. And then you got your Google Play Store as well. So you can actually install different apps and stuff on this as well. Ah, so one other thing too, which is huge, if you click this home button, it takes you to the, it's almost like the Android home screen. So before we're in the Apple one and then the Kion one, but this is where you can have different apps. So this is where all the apps are stored within the head unit. So, you know, just for a joke, I installed Fruit Ninja on here. Might not start because we're not connected to the internet. Here we go. Fruit 
failed to connect. So here you can go on Chrome, you can go on YouTube, you can, you've even got a thing here if you have a, um, if you have a Bluetooth uh, dongle connected to your OBD2, you can check your fault codes on here from the engine. You can show real time information, speed, coolant level, boost, data, you can have all the gauges there. I'm sure you can customize everything as well. Then you can add stuff and remove stuff. The capabilities with this head unit is, is crazy. It's almost like having a tablet like in built in your dash. Animation thing here, I'm pretty sure you can, if you get deep with it, you can probably change like the boot up logo. I haven't really looked into that yet. Yeah, so you can go to Chrome, see if I can connect to the internet. So yeah, we can load up YouTube right here. Anyway, you can connect to the internet. Another awesome thing about this is you can set up multiple cameras. So if you really wanted to, you can set up cameras on your mirrors, cameras on the front, hook them all in. I highly recommend getting this. Yes, it is about $1,500 for the unit. Plus you've got to pay for installation as well. But it is a massive, if you're driving your car all the time, it's definitely worth it. You can get these other ugly ass upgrades from uh, another company, I forget the name at the moment, but you have to then put in your own head unit, which you're gonna pay up to probably a thousand bucks for a good one anyway. Whereas this is integrated, it looks factory, like when it's turned off, you wouldn't tell, which is amazing. The screen's up nice and high, so when you're driving, you're not having to glance down all the way here to see where you're going and then up, it's just quick, which I prefer. And the wireless CarPlay is amazing too. You can, you don't even have to plug your phone in. It does sometimes struggle to connect or will take a little bit of time to connect, which is probably the most annoying thing about this. Um, but apparently it can be fixed by deleting and reinstalling the CarPlay app. But other than that, I've been pretty happy with this thing. Um, I am going to be offering these for sale on my website as well very soon. So check out the link in the description if you want to buy one of these things. Um, check them out on my online store. If you've got any questions, ask me in the comments or send me an inbox on Instagram. And thanks for watching, guys. I, uh, I hope you got a, inf a bit of information about this video and I've, I've had it in the car for, I'd say at least four or five months now and living it with it has been really good and it just gives the whole car a nicer feel as well. Stoked with it.